UFC boss Dana White has spoken out after a publicity stunt involving Conor McGregor and a NBA mascot went wrong. UFC boss Dana White has spoken out after a publicity stunt involving Conor McGregor went wrong at a recent NBA game. The Irishman has been promoting a new product and a planned comedic stunt has since back fired in a viral video. Attending Miami Heat's NBA Finals match against the Denver Nuggets, the former UFC champion appeared during a break to promote his new cryotherapy pain relief spray TIDL. Heat's mascot Bernie walked onto the court in oversized boxing gloves with the pair set to have a pretend fight. McGregor, however, hit the mascot a little too hard with a vicious left hook that sent him to the floor. If that wasn't enough, the strike was followed up with another hit while he was grounded. The mascot was then sprayed with the product in question by McGregor before being dragged off court. It has since been reported by the Athletic that the person inside of the suit was taken to an emergency room following the incident. After the incident, Dana White addressed the media ahead of UFC 289 and was asked about McGregor's antics. He said, I saw the Deontay Wilder one. 2. What's up with mascots wanting to get punched in the face by professional fighters? What do you expect? I mean, what are those mascot things made out of? Unless you're like, the Golden Knights mascot. I don't even know what he wears. But I'm assuming it's a metal helmet. I wouldn't have professional fighters punching me in the face if I was a mascot. Doesn't seem like the brightest thing in the world. McGregor's next bout is against Michael Chandler later in the year. The fight will be the 34-year-old's first since 2021 where he lost against Dustin Poirier via a technical knockout in round one. It was later discovered that McGregor had a broken tibia making him unable to continue fighting. The injury resulted in him taking a break from fighting. Details of McGregor's next fight are still being finalized, however the two have been filming the most recent series of The Ultimate Fighter. The show sees rival fighters turn their hand to coaching before taking each other on in the octagon.